It's time for the Illini update. The women's basketball team fell to Penn State last Thursday and to Ohio State in Columbus on Saturday. Charisma Penn led the Illini with 23 points, followed by Adrian Godbold with 18 against the Buckeyes. The Illini will be back in action in East Lansing on Thursday, where they will take on the Michigan State Spartans. The men's tennis team performed strongly in their doubleheader home opener last Friday with wins against Detroit Mercy and Ball State. Senior Roy Kalmanovich and junior Stephen Ho won both their singles and doubles matches. The team also won 4-2 against Notre Dame on Sunday. Senior Dennis Navolo won in straight sets, leading the team to its third straight win on the weekend. The Orange and Blue will compete in the ITA kickoff in Atlanta next Monday. The Fighting Illini women's tennis team captured two 7-0 victories on Saturday in Champaign, starting the season 3-0 for the first time since 2001. The Orange and Blue skated to victories over visiting Western Illinois and Illinois State. Sophomore Allison Falcon led the Illini with two wins, while newcomers Melissa Kopinski and Julia Jamison each added two singles victories. The Illini will travel to Durham, North Carolina on Friday to take on the Winthrop Eagles. The men's gymnastics team took down number 13 Iowa on Saturday night at the Carver Hawkeye Arena. The Illini finished first on all six events, both as a team and individually, vaulting to their first victory of the season. Freshman C.J. Maestas led the Illini with his second straight all-around and rings titles and added first place finishes on pommel horse and floor. The Illini will compete in the Big Ten quad meet next Sunday in Minneapolis. The women's gymnastics team tied the Iowa Hawkeyes in competition Saturday night. Senior Kelsey Joannides captured the all-around title along with three individual event crowns on vault, bars, and beams. The orange and blue gymnasts swept the top three spots in the all-around with junior Alina Weinstein placing just behind Joannity. The Illini will be back in action on the 27th in Ann Arbor against the Wolverines. The wrestling team defeated Michigan State on Saturday at Huff Hall. The Illini competed strongly with wins by Mario Gonzalez, Tony DeLago, and a match-clinching overtime victory by Pat Walker, his first against a ranked opponent. The Illini improved to 11-2 on the season and 3-2 in the Big Ten. The Illini will take on Northwestern at 5 p.m. on Friday at Huff Hall. The women's track and field team won the Illini Classic by scoring 227 points on Saturday. The team defeated eight other schools at the Armory and won 12 of 16 events. The men's track and field team was also victorious in the Illini Classic, winning 11 event titles and topping the other five teams. Senior Andrew Riley began his season with wins in both of his events, and he set the 60-meter dash school record in the preliminary heat. Next up, both the men's and women's teams will head to Lincoln, Nebraska to compete in the Mark Colligan Memorial Invitational. For more information on Fighting Illini Athletics, check out FightingIllini.com or find us on Facebook or Twitter.